Hey everybody, just want to make a quick video talking about the Jets' newest acquisition, Percy Harvin. Percy Harvin to the New York Jets. When I saw that on my fo on my news feed on my phone Friday, I thought I was seeing things. I really did. I thought I was seeing things. But then I went online and I looked further, and then what do you know? The Jets reportedly traded for Percy Harvin. They gave up a sixth round pick with the option if he does better that it could be, at worst, a fourth-round pick, which is pretty good. Well, he still has $41.5 million due over the next four years, but there's no money guaranteed. So when the Jets want to they want to get rid of him, they can get rid of him. They don't like him. But if you ask me if this is a good deal, I say yes because there's no money guaranteed, and they definitely get their money's worth with this guy. Three reasons that this is probably a good idea. First of all, number one, there's no money guaranteed. Two, he brings some explosiveness to the offense and the wide receiving crew. And number three, there's no more excuses for Geno. Now he has th wide receivers around him. Weapons. Weapons. He has Jason Morrow, Jeremy Curley, Chris Ivory, Eric Decker, and Percy Harvin. So that's it. There's their weapons. But if you ask me in the long run, is this going to be a good deal? I'm going to say no. Because this guy has some locker room issues. And yes, it may seem like peaches and cream right now with the Jets organization and the, the locker room and the players. And Percy Harvin say, oh, I love Geno Smith. Well, wait until he starts throwing back-breaking interceptions and starts you know, not getting you the ball as much. Then you may not be liking him as much. So that's why I think it's not going to be peaches and cream for the next four years. And we're not expecting peaches and cream. Maybe we just want peaches. But to me, I think he's just going to be here for the next two years. And they just get rid of him, you know? See what he can do. If he can make some plays, great. If he can't, that's, a, that's all right. So be it. At least he gave it a shot. And I like John Idzik's strategy. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye.